In this video, we're taking a walk down memory lane back to Cyber Rodeo when Tesla threw the most epic grand opening party of its new massive Gigafactory and global headquarters in Austin, Texas. I'm Josh West and this is Josh West 24 seven. And I was one of the fortunate few to experience Cyber Rodeo. Let's find out what really happened. In the days leading up to the event, Elon tweeted out, this is gearing up to be literally the biggest party on earth. So of course, Twitter was just buzzing with all the excitement looking forward to this massive event. So how did I end up in Austin, Texas? It was about 10 o'clock on the evening of April 6th, the day before Cyber Rodeo. We were just winding things down at the house. The kids were getting bedded down and I was just talking to my wife, telling her how bummed out I was. I really wanted to go to Cyber Rodeo and Elon had tweeted out that the security was gonna be kind of relaxed and that sort of thing and I thought, oh man, well, I don't have a ticket, but maybe I could go down and, you know, kind of just check it out and that sort of thing and see the factory. I've heard it was absolutely gargantuan. My wife said to me, she's like, why don't you just do it? And so I went on my phone and I booked a ticket. And so that night I hopped in my Model S Plaid and drove five and a half hours to Detroit. I uh, drove from Toronto to Detroit. Uh, there was no flights going out of Toronto at that late of notice. And the only flight I could get, in fact, there was nothing going into Austin. And the only flight I could get was going from Detroit to Houston. So that's the one I took. So I got to the Detroit airport at about 4.30 in the morning, grabbed about an hour's sleep in the chair at the gate, and then hopped on the flight and flew down to Houston. Landed in Houston um, just after lunchtime, rented a car, and then drove the several hours over to Austin. Hey, so here we are, Katy, Texas, Supercharger, heading to Austin for the Cyber Rodeo. I think it was about two, two and a half hours uh, over to Austin and made it just in time for the event. There it is, first glimpse of the Tesla Gigafactory, Texas was able to get some amazing footage. So here's footage of me driving along the side of the highway here, looking at this massive gargantuan factory. And I mean, I'm driving at a good clip here, I don't know, 70 miles an hour, and it still takes a couple of minutes to get from one end of the building to the other. So anyways, I arrived down at the factory and uh, just taking it all in, what was cool is that some of the landscaping is even done in kind of that triangular cyber truck type theme. The whole building ties into that whole theme and very, very futuristic uh, in its design. And it wasn't even complete at that point. Uh, they since added some really funky landscaping and a cool entrance way that kind of looks like um, the plaid kind of uh, going through the time space continuum, if you want to call it that. Uh, I'll put a picture up here. You can see what it looks like. Super cool. What a design. And so I made my way up to the front of the building where they had this full on carnival set up. They had uh, a bull ring, they had a, a riding bull, they had this giant silver uh, cowboy boot and cowboy hat. They had a cool kind of cyber cactus garden type of thing going on. They had a DJ just banging out kind of cyber themed beats. <laughs> One 
the really cool things they had set up there was a Tesla Semi with a trailer attached, getting a, an amazing custom mural painted on it by a very talented artist. His name is Drew Merritt, and I'll put a link to his Instagram down in the description here. Uh, you got to check out his work. It's absolutely breathtaking. And uh, he was just going to town with the spray paint cans, just these rattle cans, painting of this beautiful scene with this horse on the side of the Tesla Semi. So I was taking all of that in and then made my way to the front entrance and they had uh, the door actually it was a Tesla employee there that just opened up the door he's like hey are you going in I'm like yes I am and so away I went inside once I got inside the first thing I was met with was that beautiful cyber rodeo neon sign really kind of set the mood and then they had lined up on either side of it some of the giga castings and as I walked into the atrium this massive atrium I just hear my name get shouted Josh and I look around and I'm like, who the heck knows that I'm here? And I turn around and it's a group of my buddies, Noah and Ryan from Kilowatts and Arash and a whole bunch of the other guys. Everybody was just having a phenomenal time. So we went on to continue exploring through the factory, was able to check out the Model Y production lines and the seat manufacturing and all kinds of cool stuff. We were, They had a couple of Model Y set up that we could sign our names on. So I signed a couple of them there. So if you're down at the Giga factory and they've got them on display, look for the, the red one anyways on the tail light says Josh West 24 seven. Uh, we met up with Sandy Monroe and Corey. So we were able to say hi to those guys and we got in line to go up to the big event upstairs. So once we got upstairs, they had Tesla coils going. <laughs> And they had a cool display with all of the original Tesla prototypes, the first Roadster, the first Plaid, the uh, the millionth uh, Tesla that they ever built, which I believe was a red performance Model Y. Went into the big auditorium type room that they had set up uh, through this doorway. And inside there, they had another Tesla Semi. And man, they had that beautiful Tesla Roadster. And what a car. Here it is, man. The, just the pictures just don't do it justice, but the paint is phenomenal. Absolutely stunning, stunning, deep liquid red paint. And beside that was the Cybertruck. And man, I tell you, I just didn't even feel real. Um, you could go up and touch that thing and uh, check it out. It was the concept of one of the early alpha builds and uh, was able to just check that out, get underneath it and, and have a close up look. What an awesome truck. I can tell you having seen it in person, this thing is just gonna blow away the entire uh, light truck industry. And they had another uh, beta tech prototype that later on that night, uh, Franz would drive up onto the stage with Elon. <laughs> It was so exciting. The other cool thing they had was one of the first uh, Tesla bots, the Optimus bot. The first rendition of that was there. We were able to get up close and uh, the whole experience was just totally surreal. They had incredible music. <laughs> super talented uh, DJ there, just crunching out the beats. And it was with a great group of people, um, hung out with Anwar Beck and with Omar and Kim Paquette and Sean Mitchell and a whole bunch of others and uh, had a, just had an absolutely epic time. Uh, two hooks, we'd like to bring this next stage off and make my cousin by the, the hard work of the Tesla team.
But the coolest moment of the night was when I shouted out, to the moon! And Elon Musk looked down and replied to me, he says, to the moon indeed. Let's roll that clip. To the moon indeed. <laughs> to the moon indeed. What an epic moment that was. Uh, totally incredible. They had a drone show from Nova Sky Stories where they used these drones to configure beautiful displays. And uh, they even had the Dogecoin logo up there, the dog, Doge dog. And they had uh, Nikola Tesla. They had the Cybertruck and a whole bunch of other cool uh, displays up in the sky there. Fireworks display, absolutely breathtaking. Elon's speech was excellent. I'll put a link to that video below. Just gave a clear roadmap to where Tesla's heading and where they've come from, uh, their new global headquarters. And I was just so thrilled and proud to be a part of it. But most importantly, guys, it completely opened my eyes as to the size and scale that Tesla is moving towards. Everybody in the Tesla community I know truly, truly enjoyed it. It was the best Tesla event ever. I don't think there's anybody in the community that would challenge Challenge that claim. It was phenomenal. Got to see Harrison Ford, Kimball Musk, Elon, May, uh, the whole family, the whole Tesla crew. So if you were there and you saw me, hello, what's up? Make sure you follow along. And uh, I got to tell you guys, the Tesla community is amazing. Uh, the cars are phenomenal and the trajectory ahead is nothing but to the moon. So we'll see you in the next one.